when i started to learn programming the first thing that hit me was ignorance when i started i have no idea what a website was what an application was i just saw an html and a css course i don't know what really hit me to go and take the course but i just took the course and i fell in love with html and css and then i thought i was going to master everything overnight spoiler alert i didn't but then i was always happy learning it so that was the one thing that kept me going so even though i had no idea about what i really wanted to learn but i was always moving forward because i felt happy learning programming but then i made my first mistake when i jumped straight into java look i was always going online searching for programming and anything i see and then i i saw that it was popular i felt like i have to learn it so i was learning html and css because i didn't know what web development was bear in mind i didn't know what web development was i was just learning html and css i didn't even know what i was going to use html and css to build i was just learning it and then i saw java then i saw like you can use java to create application and i was like oh wow i love applications why not jump straight into java so i went to learn java and i spent weeks on java until i found out that java wasn't aligned with my goals because my goal was always web development i even dive into things like c c sharps that was unrelated to my goals so look i'm not saying they are useless they are not useless all of them are very important but look it's like an accountant trying to fix a car it's, it just doesn't match if an accountant you deal with accounting staff and if i'm a mechanic you deal with car staff so that's how everything works so learning c plus plus c sharps java those languages they are not related to front end they are just not related so they have their own purposes and i was learning everything i was just learning i would go search for any language i see then i'll start to learn that language look i was lost i was confused but looking back, those mistakes taught me a lot of valuable lessons. It wasn't until I decided to focus on front-end development that everything started to click with me. Because look, I didn't need to go on and learn every language that I've came across. I just needed to learn those that are in line with front-end development, like JavaScript. So my main focus was only on JavaScript because JavaScript is the programming language of the web. I discovered how rewarding it is to create applications and website that people really enjoy and use. Look, it's not about writing the codes. It's about creating applications and softwares that solve real user problems and users really enjoy using that applications and websites. So now my main focus was only on front-end development. But then I realized that to truly stand out, I needed to expand my knowledge beyond the front-end codes. So I needed to learn UI, UX. Because look, it's not about writing the code. It's about bringing the best experiences to your users. And to stand out as a front-end developer, I learned UI, UX. To now understand how my users think and how I can create applications that really aligns with my users' goals. I started to think about how my users interact with my products. This makes sure that you create the most effective website and applications as a front-end developer and that was why i learned ui ux suddenly coding wasn't just a technical skill it was a way to connect with people and that's when i fell in love with programming all over again so next i'm going to share with you the lessons i've learned and tips that will make you a better programmer so number one you have to start with a clear goal so look don't be like me start with a clear roadmap have in mind what you really want to learn and have it written that's your goal look if you don't define what you want to achieve you are going to burn out so even if it is a day or a week you are going to spend figuring out what you actually want to learn just figure it out and define your goal so if you want to learn back-end development front-end development or game development just pick one pick one that suits you and have it defined before you even start to learn it because if you don't do that you are going to learn a lot of useless things and by the time you realize that you are learning a lot of useless things time has even gone but if you have a clear path to follow it will make your journey much quicker and you are going to enjoy every bit of the journey because trust me it's going to be the best time you have invested in your programming journey number two you have to focus on relevance so for example if you want to be a front-end developer learn things that are related to front-end just learn all the things that are related to front-end 
don't go and start learning backend development. And if you are backend development, learn things that are related to backend development. So the goal of this is to just learn things that are related to your goal. Don't go and learn unnecessary stuff. Look, when you are done with your front end, and now you can honestly say that you know front end, then you can start to spread your root and start learning other things like backend development. By just starting out, just pick the ones that are related to your goal and put all your effort and energy into it. And once you master, you can spread your roots, learn other things that are related to your skill. Number three, always spend time on the basics. This was one of the challenges that was keeping me stuck. You always speak a language and you feel like you know the language, but look, you don't know it. So always spend time on the basics because the basics are very important. And if you spend time on the basics and then you understand them, then the advanced lessons are going to be easy for you. But if you don't understand the basics and then you jump straight to the advanced lessons, you are going to burn out. You are not even going to enjoy the language or the framework. So immediately you start to learn anything, even if it's HTML or CSS. Even if you understand the basics, even if you started it maybe three months ago, but just go and start all over again. And you can find a book that's something that have always helped me and write down all of the important points. Everything, I always make sure to write it down. Write everything down and make sure to master the basics. Because look, if you master the basics, the advice are always simple for you to follow along. Number four, keep it simple. Don't try to overcomplicate things for yourself. If I'm starting to learn HTML, just pick HTML. Make sure you master it before you go straight to CSS. So if you pick any of the languages, make sure you spend time on it. Any of the framework, make sure you spend time on it. Master it before you jump straight to the next thing. Don't try to learn two frameworks at a time. No, don't make that mistake. Just pick one. Make sure you master it before you jump straight to the other thing. And that is why when you are learning, you don't need to spend time on social media because social media would make you abandon your goals. Make sure to just put all your focus in what you are learning, master it, then you can go straight to the next thing. Don't go and try to learn and master two things at once. It just don't work. And next, celebrate every milestone on your way. If you finish HTML, make sure to celebrate it. Write it and paste it somewhere to show that you have finished HTML. Once you start to acknowledge those smaller milestones, it will make your programming journey much smoother and much enjoyable. But if you don't celebrate them, you don't even enjoy the process. So every framework or everything you've created, always make sure to celebrate the milestone. Find something to just celebrate, something to make you happy and celebrate the milestone. So if I can do this, wasting much of my time, imagine what you can achieve with focus. Your journey will be much quicker than my journey because you already have everything figured out before you even start to learn. So look, you don't have to be perfect. You just have to keep on going and trust the process. Every line of code you write, every project you build, and every mistake you make is a step forward. You are closer than you think to where you want to be. Your journey you don't have to be messy as mine. If you take these steps and start strong, I promise your journey will be much quicker than mine. And always remember, every expert was once a beginner. If you want to learn how to focus on one skill, master it and build and launch your own online business as a junior developer then make sure to check my series clarity compass because it will help you a lot and i'll link the first episode so that you start with the first episode because the series is very important and i recommend you check all the three episodes start with the first episode and try to finish all the three episodes and i'll see you in the next one